city limits from the east for the first time, they're now fighting street-to-street -street battles with the remaining Gaddafi loyalists. They retreated on Sunday after coming under heavy sniper fire. Well, Al Jazeera Sue Turton is in eastern search for us. Sue, it seems to be some sort of an advance, though, slow. Can you update us on that? Yes, the advance has come, as you say, to the eastern side now of the city and the first time the eastern fighters have gone into the city. There's been quite a big gun battle here pretty much most of the afternoon. Uh, we're now hearing more distant thuds of heavy artillery, which seem to be based further towards the coastline. Earlier on today, we were seeing a, a, a lot of firepower, both rockets going overhead and Gaddafi loyalists sending rockets back the same way that they'd come, and small arms fire. But it seems a lot of the fighters that we've seen fighting street to street behind us, next to the compounds, well, they've now consolidated their position in areas around this eastern side. This group here were across earlier on trying to take a compound. They seem to have pulled back now. So it looks like they're bedding in for the night, really. They don't have night vision goggles. They don't fight at night because they would be really uh, on the back foot because they're also talking about there are a lot of snipers in and around the buildings that they're having to deal with. One other area we were told about that um, one of the commanders talked to us earlier on said they'd managed to get 14 vehicles of heavy weapons into the city centre to the people who have risen up against the Gaddafi loyalists inside of Sirte. We, we heard that they had small arms, but we didn't know they were able to get anything heavier. But we've been told that they now have managed to get at least some firepower inside. And they are obviously joining forces in the hope that they can take out the areas that are still very much loyal to Gaddafi. So um, the NTC fighters seem to be fortified enough and they, they have the backing of NATO firepower. Why is it that it's taking so long to get into this area of CERT? Yes, they have the backing of NATO, as you say, and we've heard NATO jets very much in evidence today in, on the, in the skies, and we've also seen what look like areas that NATO have hit. The Libyan fighters saying, we're waiting to move forwards, we're waiting for NATO to strike, we hear the jets and then they move forwards, and they've pushed forwards all the way earlier on today, which has got us to this position. But they've always said that there's only so much that NATO can do because there are still civilians inside of the city. Now, we're hearing there are human shields. We have no knowledge whether that's true or not until we get in ourselves. But we are hearing that, that some civilians are in areas that they would obviously um, take casualties if NATO was to launch strikes in those areas. And that's why the Libyan fighters are saying to us they are having to go street by street. Now, they have had heavy artillery coming into the city, but they are very much in evidence trying to walk on foot into the, the city centre. And they've also said they will take each neighbourhood as it comes and give them an opportunity to surrender and put down their arms before going in with the battle. But there is a situation now, the more, the further in they go, the less areas there will be for the Gaddafi loyalists to base themselves. It's the snipers that are the biggest problem, and they have to start working out how to take them out before they can really take large swathes of this city. Sue Turton with the latest on the NTC advance insert. Thank